to another movie review. It has been a hot minute since we've done an American Girl movie. I know. I, I kind of meant to just barrel through them all back to back to back and get them done and over with, and then I kind of fell off the wagon with them. Uh, to be fair, this one, based on title alone, I thought was going to be a basketball movie. It's not. It's uh, McKenna Shoots for the Stars. I guess I heard shoots and thought basketball. It's not. It's a gymnastics movie. And if I had known that, I probably would have watched it literally right after the last one I did because that's much more interesting to me than basketball, which doesn't interest me in the slightest. So, you know, it's like that. But anyway, so this one came out in 2012. And I have to tell you... <laughs> The quality difference, the leap from the last one before this one to this one is insane. Like, I thought I was going to sit here, have a good time, just make fun of this freaking thing. Yeah, no, this one's actually good, guys. Like, just hear me out. Hear me out. Actual quality for a change. I know some of them have been, but not all. But this one, no, it like actually, actually is. Just trust me. So, first off music in this. I ha I must comment on it before I forget. Opening track and some of the other songs in it literally sound like they could have been written by the same people who did the music for Hannah Montana. Just saying. And then there's other songs that randomly sound like Carrie Underwood. So make of that what you will. But I mean, it's better than they usually are in these. So there's that. But immediately we are thrown into this world of gymnastics where... Our main character, McKenna, is practicing her routine and feeling like she's being talked to, or do, blah, 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 talked down to like a baby by her coach. She wants to do this fancy, like, backflip thing. The teacher says she's not ready yet. Please stick to the routine. Because if you mess this up, you're going to mess up regionals. You don't want to do that. It'd be too risky. Just stick to what you're supposed to be doing. And she's like, but it looks so awesome. Yeah, no, stick to the routine. So she's complaining to her friend, Tulane, who is like her bestie. They have known each other since they were in diapers, and they have been going through gymnastics ever since, basically, together. Um, and it's weird, like, there's almost like this baby plastic mean girls thing going on with her from, like, the word go. It's just weird. <laughs> but McKenna herself, I don't know, there was something that struck me immediately about this girl to where I literally had to pause the movie and look her up on IMDb because it was just like, you know when you can just tell with a child actor or actress that they're gonna go on to do stuff. Like, you can tell quality-wise, this one is, like, up here and everyone else is down here. This is the one to be watching because they're gonna go places. Yeah, I was freaking right. Her name is Jade Pettyjohn, and she has gone on to do so many other things since this. This was, like, her breakout role. She'd done a couple of bit things before it, but this was her first starring role, and she went on to do so many other movies, shows, what have you, since then. So, this was a very good project for her. Uh, it was a really good vehicle, in my opinion. It really showed off her talents and everything, and seeing what she looks like now, it's like, she grew up to be freaking gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I kind of want to watch more stuff with her <laughs> now, but that, just as an aside, she's like the only one of the main cast in this that really went on to do, like, a ton of other stuff. Actually, the girl who did Tulane did a fair handful of things, but they're all, like, dance and gymnastics related, so it was very much, like, typecast for her but that's okay totally okay so anyway so little baby mean girls thing going on comes out later this is because her mom is like a strict hard ass with her really doesn't so much care about her well-being just that she excels at everything all of the time one of those moms you know basically a pageant mom for gym or gymnastics no, gym. <laughs> anyway so it's like that and now there's a new girl who just started named Sierra, and she's not very good, but this girl gets straight A's. And Tulane just, on concept, 
hates her and finds her annoying, and she's honestly kind of a little bitch just from the word go, like, <laughs> where she's concerned. And, like, the green-eyed monster is coming out with her strong. She does not want this new girl here. She does not want the potential competition. She does not want her to be friends with her friend. This is gonna be important later, because, yeah, she gets very jealous of anyone who wants to be friends with McKenna and takes it super personally. She gets hella toxic about it. So, anyway, all that matters in the world to McKenna is her gymnastics career because she wants to grow up and be in the Olympics and da 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 da. You know how it is. Unfortunately, in true kid drama movie fashion, her grades are slipping! Oh no, not the dreaded grades slipping because she's spending too much time on her gymnastics. So her parents give her the ultimatum that you need a tutor after school to help you with this, or no more gymnastics. So she is fighting back hard against the tutor thing. She really does not want one. She thinks she can drag her grades up on her own, no tutor needed. She has, like, a big test coming up in science. She'll prove her point. <laughs> Except then she realizes that, no, she actually doesn't know any of this shit, and she tries to cheat. And gets caught. And gets in trouble. So, now she's really in deep crap. Uh, and, yeah, the demand is there. Tutor, or no more gym ever, basically. So, that's hanging over. She has to go see a tutor who happens to be another student. It's just a student tutor, no big scary thing. It's a girl her own age, I think. I think. I don't know if she's older or not, to be completely honest with you. I'm trying to find her name. Yeah, her name is Josie. She's in a wheelchair. She might be, like, a tiny bit older. I want to say she's the same age, though. But, um, anyway. So she tutors her, but she really wants her to just start it basics to figure out what is going on here. She knows how to read. It's the reading comprehension, which, I mean, is a really common thing. A lot of people struggle with that. Hell, I struggle with that. Like, I get it. I understand that. I think this is part of what made this whole thing speak to me on a very deep level. <laughs> but anyway, she wants her to start out in basics and work up from there to find where is the area where you start to struggle. We'll zero in on that. Makes sense. However, McKenna takes and says, You're treating me like a baby! You're just as bad as my gym teacher! Or my gym coach! Ugh! I want a new tutor! So she goes through, like, a shit ton of other tutors who are all freaking terrible because they're students and they aren't trained and equipped to teach. But Josie is. Well, I mean, she's still just a peer, but she is really good at what she does. So she pretty much exhausts every other tutor and goes back to Josie. But now, oh no, what's that? She saw Sierra walk in the library. We can't have her see me. I'm just gonna dive under the table because she walked in. Cannot possibly let her catch me dead in here with a tutor. Oh my god, that would be so embarrassing. It's one of those things. Every time she goes through, it's like a wild goose chase of her trying to freaking hide disregarding what she's supposed to be doing. It's ridiculous. But not just with her. Even more so when Tulane starts questioning, where were you? Every time we go to, a, we have a gymnastics meet, we always get smoothies first. Where were you? And she makes up a bullshit lie about having physical therapy, and that's where she was, and she'll be, and da 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 da. Really? Physical therapy? In a cast? How's that work? Like, she sees through her bullshit. But she's not owning up either, so there's that. And now she starts getting jealous and suspicious and, oh, what, you have, like, a new best friend? Like, you have new friends that are better than me, that are bigger and cooler, and da 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 you forgot about me? I don't even know where you are most of the time anymore. It's like, bro, you are being so fucking toxic. Chill. Holy shit. Red flags. I'd be kicking this chick to the curb, like, right then and there. Like, fuck you. But anyway... This is a learning opportunity, a gentler, kinder way of dealing with things. But anyway, they're, they're children, it doesn't matter. But this is the time to nip that shit in the bud before they grow up and still act like that. But anyway, so she starts getting nosier and starts, like, snooping around and shit and, like, stalking her, basically, to figure out where the hell is she going? Who is she hanging out with? I just know you have secret friends. Yeah, so she eventually figures out where she is where she's having her tutoring done. Yeah, but she decides that, oh, 
See? I knew it. You do have a new, better friend. <laughs> and gets all shitty about it. And she tries to explain, but she doesn't want to hear it. And she leaves in a huff. Da, 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 da. So now her feelings are hurt. The other girls are hurt. The tutors are hurt because of something she said. She's like, no, she's not my friend. She's so Yeah, it's like, wow. Way to be hella shitty. But anyway, yeah. It's hard to be in those kind of situations, to be fair, and be put on the spot with it. Hold on, like, two seconds. Okay. Anyway. So. <laughs> the part that nailed it in the coffin for her is that she saw McKenna teaching Josie their secret handshake. Oh my god! The betrayal! Ah! Oh, knife to the heart! You bitch! Basically. No, she didn't say that. But anyway. So. But the part that I could not take seriously that will live rent-free in my head that I feel like I should make a gif of or something. I... <laughs> While she is sneaking around, they literally CGI all these special effects of her, like, trying to dodge being seen by teachers or by whoever, and, like, using her gymnastic skills in completely unrealistic ways whatsoever to basically ninja the fuck around, and it basically ends up looking like the really bad CGI that's in that Johnny Depp version of Willy Wonka. Like, the way that they make specifically the Oompa Loompas move, it's that vibe. It's giving that. I was like, oh my god. I like, I had to pause it and, like, just finish laughing before I could even move on. That's, like, the one part that I'm like... We did not need to do that. This was completely unnecessary. Holy shit. Like, was this just to pad it out, like, an extra couple minutes? Like, what the hell was that? That was not needed. Anyway. So. <laughs> that was just an aside. But anyway. So, outside of the tutoring, McKenna and Josie have been, in fact, hanging out and doing frenzy, frenzy shit. Especially since McKenna's mom knows Josie's mom. So... It's made it easier for them to, like, coordinate schedules and things and hangout times. And even, like, the annual camping trip that McKenna usually takes with her family that she brings Tulane along for. Yeah, they have to change it because of her cast and... Or no, not because of her cast. I'm sorry. Wrong part. Uh, have to change it because of her dad's work schedule. Something comes up, so he had to change which weekend it is. So she's like, oh, I think Tulane busy that weekend, even though she totally hasn't even talked to her, but whatever. It's like, oh, uh, can I bring Josie? And, oh, yeah, sure, you can bring Josie. So, she asks Josie, and Josie's all jazzed, she wants to go. And then she retroactively asks Tulane after that if she wants to go. And initially she does, until she mentions, go on, Josie's gonna be there. Oh, never mind! And she gets all shitty and snotty about it. It's like, wow, okay, whatever. But, McKenna and Josie have the greatest time on this trip and everything, right down to having a wheelchair race because the dad gets a wheelchair from McKenna to make it easier for her to navigate, like, the wilderness in whatever. But yeah, so it's like a whole bonding thing. It's very sweet. It is what it is. But anyway, so we eventually, more or less, reach the end of the line with the tutoring. Uh, somewhere in there, there was, like, a mention of horseback riding. It was, like, such a subtle thing that becomes a B-plot all in its own of how Josie's always wanted to ride a horse and never has because, like, well, isn't it possible for people in wheelchairs to ride horses? I'm pretty sure that's a thing, and she's just always been scared to do it is basically it. Anyway, so later on in this... There's the whole drama of there is I could stay that I have my cast taken off. But that also happens to be the day that um uh Josie, as it turns out, she has uh secretly been inspired by McKenna to start going to one of those places where they let uh disabled people ride horses and they help them, this, that, and the other. Uh, and they start her on a pony, but this is gonna be the day that they graduate her to a horse, and she'd really like her there for moral support. Would it be possible in any way, shape, or form to have your cast taken off the next day so you could be there? And McKenna's initially like, no, do you understand how many weeks it is and how hard it's been for me to be cooped up sitting down this long, not able to do anything? Completely forgetting about who she's talking to. I just want to go back to my real life and Oh, your real life. 
so I guess I'm not a real friend. So I was like, oh, cool. So now both her friends are pissed at her. Everyone's feelings are hurt around the board. Drama, drama, drama. I, I swear it, it's effective while actually watching it. My retelling of it sounds stupid, but, like, it's actually good when you watch it in its context of what it is. <laughs> so, anyway. She ends up having a change of heart about the cast thing and decides, you know what, my friends are more important, their needs are more important than mine. I'll put off the cast. I'll, I'll have it taken off the next day and I'll go there. And it's a good thing she did. Not only for saving her friendship, but also quite literally saving her friend, because there ends up being, like, a plastic bag that, like, blows across the trail and spooks this horse behind the horse that, uh, Josie's on. And this could easily have turned into a very dangerous disaster situation, like, really dangerous. Uh, somebody who's grown up with horses, like, yeah, that shit's no joke. Um... And she basically flung herself down, like, through the crutches to the side, flings herself to the ground to, like, retrieve that bag to stop the other horse from freaking the hell out. Yeah, so because of her act of bravery, Josie's like, oh my god, you are, like, the best friend ever. Da -da 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 -da. See? I, I knew... See, this is the... It's so important that you were here. I don't know what would have happened if you weren't here. And on and on it goes. But then she has a surprise for McKenna. She, um, kind of didn't warn her going in, but she also invited Tulane to go to this. I guess she just assumed McKenna would show up. <laughs> and she invited Tulane because she feels that these two really need to talk things out. Meanwhile, she'll be grooming her horse, so, um... You guys have fun, essentially. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> I'm not going to stick around for the fallout. And they do talk things out, and it's all fine in the end. Like, it's a whole heartwarming scene, this, that, the other. How bad could Josie really be, given that she wanted you and I to, like, maintain our friendship and save things? And da -da 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 -da. So all is well. Her cast comes off. She comes back to gymnastics. She starts training up, but oh no, now she's all stuck in her own head because she has such fear of falling again, which is very rational and reasonable, uh, reasonable in my head as somebody who never took gymnastics, but whatever. Um, so it's like a whole thing of her trying to struggle and grapple with her own fears. Sorry, I'm like chipping my nail polish off. Uh, she's grappling with her anxiety around this and trying to bring herself to do the thing. But just like with the tutoring, she has to go back to square one and start out with the easy stuff and find where it is she's struggling and then zero in from there to work on fixing what's wrong. Same deal. And they show her fall over and over and over and over again, leading up to the regionals, to the point where it almost seems like this whole thing's gonna be a damn disaster. But it ends up being fine, and like, five minutes before, like, the floor routine, oh, Tulane is missing. Cool. She finds her in the bathroom, like, throwing up. Cool. And it's at this point that she spills her guts to her, no pun intended, about how this isn't even fun for her anymore. She doesn't even want to do this. What she really wants to do is, like, the rhythmic gymnastics. This is not what she wants to be doing, but she's too scared to tell her mom because her mom will never hear of it, and she just wants me to be like my sister that can't even do this anymore because of her injury. And, da -da 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 -da. and McKenna basically has to talk her down and try to convince her that you need to tell her. Anyway, so they go through the whole regionals thing, and they are two of the three girls chosen for this, as is, like, the one girl that everyone knew would be a shoo-in because she's fucking amazing. And it's after the ceremony and after all the celebration that she does, in fact, tell her mom. Mom didn't exactly take it well, but she accepts it to the point where she'll let her do the thing. And because Josie now has that position open because she's not going to be doing this, that position can go to Sierra. And remember, she was all, like, jealous of her and didn't want her to be, like, friends with her because of the jealousy thing? Yeah, they now 
allow her into their friend group too. It's all happy, happy, everybody. Again, my retelling is not that great, but I swear in reality this movie is actually very sweet to the point where it made me cry several times, which what the actual fuck, but okay. But no, it's like genuinely good. Like compared to the other American Girl movies, I was really surprised at how good this one is. Like it wasn't made that long after the previous one, but Boy, I don't know if they just, like, really got an entirely different staff working on this or what, but this one basically kicks ass compared to the others, so. Anyway, for me, I would give this, like, a solid 4 out of 5, maybe even, like, a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Like, I really surprisingly <laughs> enjoyed this one way more than I expected to, and I am not being ironic in saying that I am being dead serious. I actually really, truly enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> even as a grown-ass adult. I am not even a target demographic, but it was just like a very sweet, fun movie. So, anyway. Yeah, I, I think this one's worth a watch. Like, this one isn't even one to watch, like, to make fun of. This one, like, actually, genuinely is good. <laughs> so, anyway. Those are my thoughts on it. So, hopefully you give it a chance if this sounds like something that might be up your alley. Uh, anyway, so... That's it. So, as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you would like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddits, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like my do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.